Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys drugstore products I can't live without, aka a lot of my repurchases are from Ulta, as well as some new products um, from the drugstore section at Ulta. I am so excited to share this stuff with you. I have like one more thing to pick up from the drugstore, but then I'm pretty much set for a while now. So um, I'm going to share all these products with you guys, but I also wanted to do a giveaway in this video. Right here we have two $250 gift cards for two people. So um, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and as well as follow me on Instagram. Be sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what your Instagram handle is so I can find you. And that's all you have to do to enter. So subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below with your Instagram handle, and also follow me on Instagram, which is KCHL91. I will reach out to you guys and then I will pin a comment letting you know who has won the giveaway. So good luck, 250, 250. You could really buy some good stuff at Ulta. So if you're interested in seeing all the new and repurchased products that I've gotten recently, then definitely keep watching. And also turn on that post notification bell, that way you're notified every single time I upload. This is from Mersey Days, these are from Target, and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, let's start with a first repurchase because I have the old one right here. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I used to love this Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. I still love it. I mean, look at how much I went through. The only reason why I didn't get to use it up all the way is because it dried out. So I did go ahead and purchase another one. So we have the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Blonde. Can't wait to get back into this. You guys know I've been into the Catrice Brow Pencils, but I wanted to dabble back into this too because it was one of my absolute favorites. Such an easy brow product to apply and it lasted all day. Another repurchase is my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm actually almost out of this one. I can feel it. So I went ahead and purchased another one. I really like setting my makeup with this not necessarily because it makes it last longer but it really does set everything into place and like melt the makeup into the skin just looks really beautiful I've been really enjoying it so I went ahead and picked up one of those and these are pretty affordable as well a new product that is more on the drugstore side it is more affordable is this ColourPop super soft super shock cheek and this is a highlighter and this is in the shade flexitarian and I think I tried this so long ago but I don't remember what I thought about it so I went ahead and just picked this one up because I wanted to test it out this is what it looks like I'm sure so many of you have played with ColourPop before I haven't I don't remember how I felt about it like I don't understand why I haven't messed with it in so long I decided to pick this up and see what I think about it I have a feeling I'm gonna like it but like it looks really pretty <laughs> I decided to try this out because a lot of you recommended it for oily eyelids. It's the Wet n Wild Long Lasting Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to try it out and let you know what I think about it. But of course Wet n Wild is so affordable. One of my favorite brands at the drugstore as well. This is new. This is something I wanted to try. It reminds me of those other cloth makeup removers. I can't remember what they're called. But this is the Ulta Beauty Beauty Smarts Makeup Removing Towelettes. No cleanser needed. I just wanted to try it out. A because it's affordable. But, I don't know, I just wanted to take this with me traveling. I want to take one of them with me um, probably tomorrow and just see how they work. I will keep you updated on this since you don't need cleanser or anything like that. I'm really interested to see how these work out. So, these again are the Ulta Beauty brand and their makeup remover towelettes. Or towels. They're towels. Another thing I repurchased is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used to really like this concealer a long time ago. I haven't used it in so long. And I'm in a phase right now where I want to try out a lot of things that people used to love or that I used to love and see if it works for me now. Because obviously as the years go on, people change their formulas, your skin changes, and some things might work for you that didn't. Or some things might not work out for you that did work out for you. So I'm excited to try this again. It's a lot smaller than I remember, but that's probably because the foundation was huge, like the foundation version of this. Yeah, I went ahead and got the one in light and I'll be using this and letting you guys know what I think about it okay let me just do these concealers too I purchased two new concealers this one I'm already using I repurchased the flower beauty concealer in light and this is such a good concealer highly recommend it it looks like it looks like this it's one of my favorite concealers at the drugstore I'm like on a kick with it again so I went ahead and got another one. And then another concealer that I purchased is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I used to love this concealer and foundation, and I want to get back into it. I don't know why, but I couldn't find the foundation. I couldn't find the foundation online, but I found the concealer. So I don't know what that's about, but I went ahead and picked this one up because I could get it. And I purchased all this stuff on Ulta.com, by the way. Hopefully I can find the foundation like in stores or something like that. Okay, this isn't drugstore, but... If you love this product like I do and you travel with it, this is 
just so good. I did not know they had this. It's a travel size of the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. Even if you just want to try this product out, I think this is a perfect way to do it because it's so little. But of course, you do get quite a bit of product. It's going to last you a while. And this is just perfect for me for traveling. So I got two of these. I have one in my skincare bag right now. And it's just the cutest. It's my favorite makeup remover. So if you guys want to try it out but don't want to splurge on the big size, then definitely get this travel size at Ulta. That's the only place I've seen that. I had to repurchase my my Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. I love this mascara. This just makes your lashes so voluminous. They last all day. I just knew my other one was kind of getting a little janky, so I went ahead and purchased a new one. And then as well as the one heck of a blot primer, I needed a new one <laughs> because after I did that drugstore video, I realized mine was kind of, you know, not good anymore. So I went ahead and purchased this. Really great for oily skin if you have texture, large pores. This is a great alternative to a high-end primer. I also purchased two different things from Physicians Formula. We have the Butter Highlight and the Butter Blush. I don't think I have this Butter Highlight, but it looks so similar to the limited edition one that they had in a palette before my palette, which I'm obsessed with. If you guys are wondering, when it comes back in stock, it'll be in stock very, very soon, I promise you. Thank you so much for your support. You guys sold it out so fast. This is the Butter Highlight in Pearl. I love their highlighters, and I didn't have this. Because I did do a makeup declutter, like, not on camera, but just with myself. <laughs> I realized I didn't have this. So, I went ahead and picked it up. I just love this packaging so much. So, this is just a little twist-off container as well. And that's what it looks like. Same really great formula. I, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So, that one is the butter one smells so good. And then I also did get this Physicians Formula Butter Blush. This is in the shade Vintage Rose and it just looks like a good neutral color, like something lighter to put on when you don't really want to put on a lot of blush or you kind of don't know what blush to use. I think this would be a great one to have. This is the Maybelline Nikki Tutorials Exclusive at Ulta Master Chrome Mega, what? Ma what? What? Metallic Highlighter. And I haven't really seen many people talk about this, maybe because it's not brand new anymore. I remember when it first came out, but this just looks like a really pretty shade. Ooh, that's intense. Wow. So I can't wait to try that out. I already have like enough highlighter on as it is, so I will try this out in a different video. So Revlon came out with this new Candid line, and I thought I ordered the foundation, but I guess I didn't. We do have the Antioxidant Concealer. This is in 015. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to do a video on it. I'm going to wait till I get the foundation to do a full video because I also have this Anti-Pollution Setting Powder in 001. So we're going to see how this looks on my skin and if it works. I'm interested to try this out. I really like the packaging. It's very, very cute. It's like a light pale pink, and I like that you can see the color on this. I don't know if this is a pump or a wand. I'm going to guess it's like a dofa applicator. I will say for this to be the light color, it looks pretty dark, but we'll wait for that video. We'll do a first impressions wear test on these products. Okay, this is a throwback, and I told you I'm in this mood to try out some old goodies. You know, I'm just in that mood. L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. First off, this is a huge compact, and this one's in the shade Sweet Ginger. And I just have so many memories with the L'Oreal True Match line too. Like even before I started YouTube, I used the powder all the time. I did use the blushes as well. Didn't these used to flip up? I think so. I think they quit doing that, which is smart on their part. It looks absolutely stunning. Just a really nice light flush for your skin. And I'm pumped. Are you kidding me? Come back. Where did it just go? I'm going to have to find that later, but I'm excited for the blush. I'm going to have to glue it back down if I can find it. But yeah, got that. Okay, next up we have this new line from CoverGirl. This is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. I really want to try this out. I read up on it. It's really cool, and I want to do a full video on it. So um, these are the two shades I got. I got Medium Cool and Tan Neutral. This one's Medium Cool. This one's Tan Neutral. So that's what it looks like, and they have a pump, and I've been really loving CoverGirl foundations, so I can't wait to try this one. And I also picked up a full spectrum concealer. This one is in light medium. This one might be a little too dark for me, but I'm still going to try it out because it's a brightening concealer, and if anything, I could use it as a face concealer if I have a blemish or something. I don't remember buying this, but I have a, um, a Flower Beauty eyeliner 
This is an Onyx, and it's just a retractable liner that I will be trying out. We also have this Maybelline, I think I got these for free, Maybelline Precise All Day Liquid Liner. This is so tiny, but it's so cute. That'd be great for traveling. And then we have this Milani All Natural. Is it All Natural? <laughs> I don't know why I said all natural. I think it's just all natural lip liner because this looks so good. I just love drugstore lip liners. I don't necessarily buy high-end lip liners like unless they're sent to me in PR. I don't use them because I just don't see the point in buying it. It's a lip liner. Same as eyeliner. And this just looks like a beautiful, yes. I love that color. So this is the all natural 04 lip liner from Milani. Very smooth and creamy. What I love um, about super creamy formulas like that is if I forget my lipstick, if I'm traveling, or if I just don't want to wear a dang lipstick, I can fill my lips in with that and it'll be perfectly fine. I can rub my lips together and it's just like my own lip color. So I like lip liners that can be used either as a lipstick or as a liner on its own. I also got this JCAT Beauty Luxe Pro Powder in Banana. I don't think I've tried this. I do have the Makeup Revolution one that's kind of like this, but not really. Maybe I've tried it before. I don't know. But this is just a banana powder from JCAT Beauty. Maybe I've tried it and it was too dark. I'm going to have to figure it out. But I got it anyways because it was affordable and I wanted to pick it up. So I like a lot of JCAT Beauty products. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I also have this The Rush Hour Sensational Dry Shampoo from Soap & Glory. So I love Soap & Glory. I love their scents. Sometimes it can be a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Like really strong. But I got a travel size of this because I wanted just to see how it smelled. You know how strong it is. I just tried out. Where the heck is that dang dry shampoo? I couldn't find my Batiste dry shampoo in my uh, drawer. So I reached for this one. It's called the one by Frederick Frakai. You better have some ventilation when you're using this. <laughs> my fan wasn't on. I was just spraying this in my hair and I about choked to death because I could not breathe. It's very scented. Um, it, it works. So uh, I'm going to keep trying this and see if I want to buy a full size. I've never liked a high-end drugstore. Wait, <laughs> I've never liked a high-end dry shampoo before. Um, but this one was pretty good. It smells good and it didn't leave like a white cast or anything, but it still left a kind of powdery finish if that makes sense. This is Soap and Glory one. I'm hoping I can breathe. This kind of thing, I like the whole dry shampoo concept, but this to me is more of a hair refresher. So if you feel like your hair just kind of needs a little oomph to smell better, this would be the way to go. But I feel like if you use this all over your head for a dry shampoo, whoo, you are going to be strong. I mean, hey, you can be strong if you want to be strong. But for me, I like my hair to smell good, but I don't want people to get choked up on my scent. You know what I mean? Like when it's just too much. Not a dry shampoo for me, but definitely a hair refresher. Last product I'm going to mention to you guys is this JCAT Beauty Extreme Access Pocket Eyeshadow. And six match, six shimmers. These just looked really pretty, so the shimmer is a little bit more sheer, but like this matte looks good. This grayish tone, I don't know how I feel about that, but this one looks really good. And these colors right down here. All I need and more. I'll try this out, let you guys know what I think. This is a really affordable palette, and this is in the shade Walk of Stardom. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, found some new products to try, found some products that you know that I love and obviously can't be without because I've also had these repurchases for years, pretty much. Definitely check them out. They're staples for me. And if you haven't already, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Good luck to you guys. Again, I will update you in a week on who wins. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!